The Galaxy S4 shows up on video. The phone unlocking build seems kind of weak, and some iPhone 5S rumors seem kind of weird. I'm Jaime Rivera, and speaking of weird, there should be some sort of mix between coffee and beer. This is Pocket Now Daily. Unlocking Consumer Choice and Wireless Competition Act. I'm going to say this first before I forget it, but for those of you that heard about the Wireless Independence Act, well, apparently that's past tense, or sort of. Apparently they're changing the bill, and this new bill is sadly not as good as the first one that we saw. Apparently this new bill will just tell Congress, you know, hey, could you please look at unlocking smartphones by the end of the year? And that's pretty much where things are, sadly. Apparently the bill, or whatever the White House was planning to do in making unlocking smartphones legal, it's not really where we wanted it to be, but obviously not everything's been said here just yet, so stay tuned. We'll keep you posted. And for those of you that were worried about Nokia because of their leaked document yesterday, well, they're still pushing those horses. There are rumors of a new Nokia Lumia 928 reaching Verizon very soon, and there are tons of specifications that are quite compelling, but probably the most important one is that apparently this will be Nokia's first uh, metallic Lumia. I'm not sure if that's going to be aluminum or what material they're going to be using, but this will be their first metallic phone, or probably metallic Lumia per se. But there are a lot of specs and a lot of details on this device, so make sure you hit the links in the description. This device should reach Big Red very soon. Now let's talk about some more iPhone 5S rumors. If you were wondering what Apple's planning to do to differentiate this device, well, apparently there is this new supplier out there that's going to be building a new type of display for Apple. And apparently what this display is going to allow you to do is actually use the phone for fingerprint scanning for new security measures. And it just begs you to wonder because we know that fingerprint scanning is not something new, but it is really new on a display. And we know that Apple is really a late bloomer when it comes to these technologies. Most of the time Apple leaves everything last because apparently you want to figure it out before everybody else does. And that's the same case about NFC as apparently this device will also support NFC, which makes a lot of sense with Passbook, but which never took off with Android. So the question is, what will Apple bring to the table to make NFC and fingerprint scanning different? Stay tuned. Now let's talk about the HTC One. A review unit has just reached our Boston labs and the device is as beautiful as you can imagine. Michael Fisher is going to take it over a lot of comparisons and obviously his full-fledged review, but not everything is fun in games when it comes to the HTC One. We've got some UK retailers already complaining about shipping dates. Remember that the HTC One was going to ship by March 15th, but apparently some people are already saying that it's going to be delayed two weeks till March 29th. Now our review unit came in a retail package, so this could probably be just the UK issue, so stay tuned. And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you that were wondering if the Samsung Galaxy S4's design leaked photos were real, well, there's already a video of the phone, and it does look a lot like the Galaxy S3. It's pretty much just the combination of like the Galaxy Note 2 and the Galaxy S3, although we sadly don't see an S Pen there anywhere. But now the interesting news is that it does have this sort of stainless steel band around it instead of plastic this time. It looks a lot like the old Blackberry Bolds, the 9900, I think it was. So it's it's kind of an interesting design, obviously. March 14th will be the date, but interesting enough, we have more rumors that the Galaxy Note 3 in the future will be ditching AMOLED technology, and there are rumors that the Galaxy S4 alongside brings some sort of new AMOLED technology, probably not necessarily changing it, but it'll probably change the name. But that leads me to the question of the day. Do you like AMOLED displays, or which is your favorite display technology? In my particular case, I love the Super LCD 2, and obviously now the Super LCD 3. I feel that that had the most accurate colors, but tell us about you. Which is your favorite display? I know that a lot of people, like for example Michael Fisher, he loves the contrast of the AMOLED display, so leave us a comment down below. Which is your favorite? Of course, as always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Ah, the Galaxy S4. This is one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year, and it's also one of Samsung's best-kept secrets. We've been trying to find leaks of this device for the longest time, and still we don't have much to talk about. So join us on Thursday, March 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, as we will have a full hangout happening live. We will also have Brandon Miniman and Michael Fisher at the event, and Adam Lane will also be at Times Square, New York City, covering everything that happens live. So join us again on our YouTube channel. You will see links on our website as soon as this happens. So see you there.